All right, we started. Yeah. I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. I th okay. Welcome to the OSR's podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things of RuneScape-related content creators. I am MA Cat, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, guys? Uh, very sick, Rakesy. Hello. Hello, a rice cup again. And we have one of the beautifulest persons in the world that doesn't want to show his face, but I've seen his nipples. What's up, Combat Bracelet? Welcome, my man. Hello, hello. <laughs> how uh, how tired of you are of with that meme? Or is it ah, that dude, meme? I love it, honestly. I swear there was one point, there was like a tipping point where you were super salt about the Combat Bracelet. It got it got annoying, I'm not going to lie, but <laughs> now it's just funny when people say it because it was like so long ago. It's like, oh, cool, you yeah. still know about that. Those are hype times, though. Those are yeah, hype times. Do you want to explain to the chat why they called you that in the in the beginning? Oh, okay. sure. <laughs> so when Iron Man came out, I'm not gonna lie, I was really bad at this game. I'm still bad at this game, but um, yeah, I came back to the game. Iron Man came out, and I kind of wanted to grind Slayer. I didn't really want to do any quests or anything. I didn't know anything about efficiency, so pretty much just got a combat bracelet, and I grinded out 99 Slayer. <laughs> wait did you did you do Damn. that during your hardcore or was it just before it was also before no that was just on the normal iron man oh okay. i'm not gonna that lie i had a main too when old school came out i did the same thing in my main <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are definitely... only playing dead man mode on the real servers i didn't even know that fuck yeah <laughs> god damn <clears throat> that was so long ago and you still got what um rank you i was still second I was second to 99 Slayer, so I was like a mill ahead of the um, second place person, too, and then school started, and I got oh, passed. That, that was high. Is that what built your channel, by the way? Because I swear to God, your channel just, like, boosted out of nowhere when you started making Iron Man videos. I, I think, think it was hardcore. So That's I think where was... I started my channel. People were just saying, like, how are you doing Slayer? Because I was so far ahead of everybody. So people kept asking. I was like, all right, I'll just make a YouTube channel to show you guys. And then everybody regretted it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I remember when Devious blew up after Hardcore Iron Man mode came out. Oh yeah, yeah, that Hardcore was, is yeah. Very much that was when the YouTube was like, "Yo, let's let's fuck this, let's do it, let's go." <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. But, That's yeah. so yeah. insane how you just built your channel <laughs> off a of meme, and then Hardcore Iron Man kind of just took you to another level for that. Yeah, pretty much, like my whole goal when uh, Hardcore came out, I was like, "All right, I know this mode's gonna be really big, so I have to think of the best way to like." get my get views so i was like okay i'm gonna post every single day even if the video is three minutes long just so they get suggested everywhere uh -huh. so i posted every day for like master the youtube yeah. at oh the time. dude that, that dude that froze me down memory lane devious because i remember when raids one the chambers first came out i don't know if you remember but i was raiding with you yeah, yeah i remember i don't huh. know who else was doing it Mike, i'm pretty sure michael was there too i think was mika there yeah, yeah, it was, it was all those there. guys were there. But I remember, <clears throat> I was just, we were doing raids, and we we're like all focusing, trying to figure out how to do the fucking bosses. I, I don't know if you were in my raid group, but every time we got Vasa, we just left the raid. Yeah, even yeah, it yeah. took us two hours to get to. <laughs> I we remember, like, we remember the first it. time we did it? <laughs> yeah. I, I was, was there. there. <laughs> I was there. I was there, <laughs> right? Dude, I, I remember we were like... I remember you were making like overloads and brews and you're an Iron Man and everyone I don't think there was a bank at the time, was there? There wasn't the bank chest and everyone no, was there wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't. Shit. Yeah, Mika Mika every single raid would ask him to make him an overload. I remember that. But I, I also remember we were like fucking doing raids, like trying to figure it out. And you're a fucking nutcase, man. You were there, you're like, Oh, I'm editing my new video. You're like editing, <laughs> editing it as, as we were running raid. raids. I was just like, What's wrong with this kid, man? That's what you gotta do, man. That's this man's hustling do. and bustling while raiding when we don't even know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I have that video somewhere, actually. Like, I was uploading devious. the highlights. Like, yes, you have I... to be an insane multitasker to be able to. Play. I've never played RuneScape and edited a video at the same time. I can't do it. I have to uh -huh. do like one thing at a time. I, I can't just be like 50 50 on bro the yo do it's the like 100 percent or nothing do the entry level uh multitasking redwoods and video editing clean easy so i can't even do that what i can't do it man it's so no, easy it's, <laughs> yeah but the thing is i don't know when i edit i'm just like autistic or something but like, i have to just like focus on it uh, okay you're not you know a multitasker I, mean? I get it dude dude i can't yeah. do two things at once for shit like, uh, yeah nothing. nah i i feel that bro I, I used to do that a lot, just like every clip I finish, I just edit after. So by the oh, time I get to my last clip, I can just upload. But recently, I've been doing a lot of just uh, voiceovers and stuff, so. Yeah, damn. You you used, you used to literally record a clip and add it to the editor as you went. 
Well, yeah, with Camp, with Camp Jasia, it just pops up in the timeline, so... Oh, okay, 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 so it's... it's that, that's of, yeah. super keen, though, man. Jesus yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's like a... Yeah, definitely not how I personally do it, but yeah, that's interesting. Probably guess Camtasia is like that, huh? Because it's like a recorder yeah. and an editor at the same time, right? You just, like, you just press save and just boop right in the timeline, like, right after the last clip. I see, I see. Dude, my videos were so shit when we went raiding the first time. Here's a picture. <laughs> I got the video, but it's all, you know? <clears throat> I just I remember the overlays and it's like 30 FPS. It's dude, this vid's garbage. It's, it's... Let me see. Oh, oh there it is. is. Dude, crescendo is <laughs> in there. Iron Mika, swarms. Yeah, you know why? You know why it's garbage? Because there's so many like uh, pixels in that fucking video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was, yeah, that was so much fun. Robot dude, dentist. <laughs> Oh, my friend. Yeah, I wasn't oh my. with I wasn't with you guys, but I remember DVS asking me a, a long time ago. But I think I had like my my RO friends that wanted to do raids. I was like, all right, yo, we'll just we'll just try it. We'll I'm not actually off. in that screenshot, man. If I had to guess, I'd say I was the bones. I was trying to find the boss. <laughs> yeah, like, oh bones. yeah, like four of us got one hit on that boss. I remember that, that could yeah, be me down quick there. Your, yeah, she Mama Dow quicked your ass. <laughs> dude, that was two years ago, dude. Rexy, where was your channel two years ago? back then do you remember um two years ago i believe two years ago i probably had about between 10 and fifteen thousand subscribers yeah that's when i met rake yeah. like that was like two years ago two or three years ago yeah. that was yeah, crazy, it was about man. 10 to that 15 man like in the last year wait i can look right now i know that in the last 365 days i've gained a lot of subscribers yeah it, just, all it takes it just takes one fucking series or like an idea and people yeah, jump yeah, on the like bandwagon mm -hmm. like it's it's literally that simple so yeah in the last year i've gained forty nine thousand subscribers Woo! Jeez, that's so yeah. gained my yeah. youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> but then like in a lifetime i've gained one hundred twenty six thousand, and you can just see like massive spikes yeah you know it's like yeah. come out with a series people like the idea of you get subs True. And then you just gotta ride that sub train. Yeah, it's pretty bro. much. Uh, mm -hmm. That's YouTube yeah. in a nutshell, dude. Yeah, I've never actually had that. It's, it's all mine's like this. Yeah, like you know, it's it's just right. like a gradual hill. You know, I never had the, you know, and then like never had that. Yeah, but like to but be fine. honest, <laughs> with like RuneScape YouTube, I think the key if you want to build a big subscriber base is just not doing the same thing for too long. Yeah, like, yeah I never, yeah, I sure. never committed to a series for like. A yeah. lengthy amount of time, mm -hmm. like ever, apart from what I'm doing right now, and yeah, yeah you just need to like come <clears> up <throat> with new things. But the the thing is, if you do like the same Iron Man video every single week, you're probably gonna get a consistent amount of views, which is great. But then again, it's like if you're uploading like say one off PK videos or like something. Yeah, yeah, it's random. it's just a different community, you know. Yeah, like, you you might end here. up getting like a hundred and twenty thousand views on a video when you're used yeah, to getting yeah. like there, there's some K. spikes. Hey, I mean, like, given the competition, <laughs> all right, help here. Yeah, right? It's, they it's, need to learn it's... like we did. Make bloody <laughs> shitty videos. Maybe quit. Maybe go. Ruin your yeah, life. Yeah, right? honestly, you just figure out your own style, you know, in a few years. Yeah, but it's really it's so interesting the way it works, man. I yeah. love it. It's like so. Like Rice, you're very notorious for uploading like Iron Man progress video. Yeah, that's pretty much twenty six, yeah. etc. Rice, right, you have like, Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> what? But like, where you're so like stuck in like doing that, and obviously people click yeah, no, it, I, I, they're familiar mm, with it. Yeah. If you were to like title it like I don't know, say something happened, you got a drop, and you were like, oh my god, this happened, blah. blah. You know what? Clip yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. I mean, like you your know, views, it could either skyrocket or just be about the same. So yeah. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. not. I'm not really like you know concerned about that. It's just a analytical, analytical thing, you know, comment that I made. But yeah. But what what I'm wondering is when Devious finishes his Ultimate Iron Man, right? Which I think is gonna happen. I believe. I believe what are you gonna do after that? Is that like Group Iron Man now? Yeah, you just oh I'm yeah, Max do. Group Iron Man. In, if it comes out. Dude, down the carpet. I'm gonna do the same bro. thing if Group Iron Man comes out. I'm gonna put Road to Rank One in the title and post oh, every hey. single day. It the <laughs> Devious. <laughs> If it's not a four-man group Iron Man where you play every single one of the accounts and exactly. you max all of them, whoever does that is going to literally blow up. Like whoever <laughs> yeah. plays all the accounts by themselves, like yeah. that's going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah how horrible for sure. that would be to record. Holy, <laughs> yeah, that would be terrible, man. You know, oh, you... it could be, dude. It could be that Michael guy. Is it Michael RS? He plays like sixteen yeah, accounts. Yeah, he has like a guy that really alts, right? Yeah, he, he's good. He has some very interesting videos. He really does. Are you talk about the DH bomb guy or the um. Well, he makes a guy. million accounts like for video ideas. Yeah, like he'll That's be really... killing DKs on like ten different accounts. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
I know there's a guy on um I can't remember what it is it's like degenerate something the streamer he's perfect like name seven, seven or eight rune drag alts at the same time oh yeah 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 it's just uh well you know we can go down the rabbit hole of ulting but that shit's wild nowadays bro yeah it is it's fucking it's wild really dude I'm just I can like barely play two accounts with NMZ I'm yo like, yo I'm just like bro yo you guys don't want summoning but we don't need it we got better like we got better shit. <laughs> better, better ult. Yeah, we just got ult. They're, they're really focused too. It reminds yeah. me of like Korean Korean esports where they're playing like StarCraft or something. You got like five hundred things going on. Yeah. You know, like just sitting there, and they're just fishing. You're like, yeah, why? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Okay, damn. <laughs> things have changed well, a lot. <laughs> shit. Right. Well, got. Yeah, so, sadly, I, I gotta go for a dance appointment. So, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll Sorry. explain what's been going on the past two weeks. All right. Real. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll Mike. Uh, all we'll right, see you guys. I'll keep my webcam on. All right, if you yeah, see a ghost, let yeah. me know. All yeah. Right. yeah. Paranormal right. activity busting. I got you. Yeah, yeah we're, just, we're just checking. We're, we're basically room sitting for Mike at this point, man. Yeah. Can you imagine if he gets burgled while he leaves his webcam on? That'd that would be, like be crazy. That'd be you can put it in the title too, in like all caps. <laughs> be yeah. awesome, man. Mint, mint uh, runs away from burglar. <laughs> or if like someone just came in the room, took his like TV screen, and then just broke his little mint man yeah. cow banner in the background. <laughs> uh, like OSR's podcast gone wrong. Yeah. There you go. There you go. We have a new. We have a new face for mint. Yeah, so the past two weeks were rough, man. We just tried to obviously start some podcast, but yeah, everybody just didn't have the you know a good time to meet up. So it's hard yeah. like for yeah. people. For those that are it's wondering, been really yeah, why no podcast? Especially other issues like time, like everybody's mm -hmm. times are just different, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel re I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> you don't have to dude, say. I, I mean, it doesn't matter. No, I, it's not. Yeah, different. last week I was all like, right. "All right." <laughs> Did you hear about that demon? Yeah. I mean, I gotta oh, explain God. to I'm my so boy. Sorry. I gotta explain <laughs> to my boy why we couldn't do it. I was like, you know, I don't want to let hey. him just be like, okay, you know, like he needs to know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking say it. I'll like, say some shit on the podcast. But basically, there was a. Uh, a girl that I like, I'd fancied for years, man. I've known her for like three years, and the day we were supposed to do the podcast, like literally half an hour before, she messaged me and she came around, and I was just like, "I'm sorry, boys, I'm dipping." <laughs> I was like, I, "I was like, I'm so sorry, I can't do tonight," but it was totally worth. And here we are, so you know. Yeah, we're oh, done. Well. I'm, I'm sorry for the delayed podcast on that one, but I think Mint had a dentist appointment. Yeah, and we would have done the same strat. Yeah. How yeah, fucked up are his teeth, dude? I swear he's had a dentist appointment for three weeks in a row, man. Yeah, he had one last week, and that's we bailed because you weren't here, and then Min had to go, so it was like just me and Devious. So, yeah. yeah, he must have some nasty ass teeth. I thought you Americans were supposed to have good teeth. <laughs> I can't say if I have amazing teeth, but I hope yeah, so. I, uh, I got an interesting fact for you, actually. When I came back from America, uh, I went to the dentist for the first time in like I think it was two years. <laughs> And I was just talking to him and I was telling him that I'd been in America, obviously. And he gave me some really interesting dental facts about Americans. And he said the reason why Americans' teeth are actually a lot better than people in the UK is he said that although the people out in America, because I said, like, Americans drink so much fizzy, like, all the time, like, the fast <laughs> food and, like, you know, so you guys drink, you live off yeah. fizzy, basically. True. Yeah, and I yeah, said, yeah, like, right. how are, I said, how are the teeth not, like, absolutely fucked? And, um, my dentist pretty much said to me, I don't know how accurate this is, but he said that because obviously they use straws, you guys get straws in all of your drinks. Yeah, it doesn't he, like he said, yeah. yeah, he said it doesn't it's hit true. their teeth. That's true. So yeah. obviously you get the effects of being morbidly obese, but you miss the <laughs> fucked up teeth. Yeah. So because it's a they, double edged sword. If, you, if you're one of those guys that like uh, keep the uh -huh. drink in your mouth and like gush it, it's like, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, that's that, just, that oh, would yeah. fuck up your teeth big time. Mate, I, 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 just I do that down. all the time, man. If I got a fizzy drink, I want <laughs> oh, to no. I'm like fucking gargling it because oh, I, I never drink God. fizzy though. So, whenever I have it, it's a real treat. Man. You're savoring, so, you're like, yeah, let's go, like yeah. mouthwash, dude. Fucking <laughs> yeah, literally, gargling man. that shit. Although saying that, like, <laughs> oh my god, my, my teeth were pretty good for a UK guy, I guess. Yeah, like, above I, I've never had a filling. I've never had anything wrong with my mm -hmm. teeth at all. So yeah, feels good. All right, should should we continue with some Q and A? Because I, I mean, I yeah. got some pretty decent questions for Devious. All right, so I think you're, um, you're 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 big on the topic of burnout, right? So oh let's see how do I want to phrase it. <laughs> I mean, no, this is just like for people that are interested, you know, like not. Uh, you don't have to go too deep into it or anything, but like, 
But like, um, how has you know consistent video making you know affected you kind of like in terms of overall stability in life? Like, you know, does it feel like it's taking away from other parts of your life, or do you feel like stress from like you know having to keep that consistency you know in our standard for your videos? You know, I really, honestly, videos? it's like the opposite. I've wanted to upload more always wanted to upload mm -hmm. more videos and i can't because it's just the accounts take too long and i'm too lazy to start like another series on this i don't like playing multiple accounts at once so yeah okay um, okay so that brings me back to like uh when you do i remember when you start your hardcore i i used to see your like videos on the recommended like all the time like weekly you know what i mean because you were like putting out videos yeah. but i'm assuming at some point slow down because it got uh later later game so how how did that feel once like you know it caught up like when you felt like content was it sucked dude i'm not gonna lie like yeah uh, uh like taking the burnout like aside and, like when i was spending like three weeks playing like 10 15 hours a day like i was playing a lot on hardcore i think it went i think the highest i got actually was to like rank three at like 2200 total yeah and then i burned out for PUBG for like four <laughs> months but yeah, yeah man, dude when it got crazy. to the point like it was taking like three weeks to make videos and then you post a video and like i was really big into like all right i'm gonna put a lot of time into this i'm gonna get my sub count up and stuff like that yeah so you put in, like three weeks and then you get like 10 subscribers or something from a video it's like super demotivating oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. no it's for sure the numbers thing definitely yeah but on the topic of PUBG, i remember that actually like didn't you get into like top five na PUBG players or something really impressive Oh yeah, for pubs and everything, I was rank one for like rank one. Yeah, I was for like three seasons or something, and then Nick, I started getting into more competitive you, and stuff. Did you stream? Like you could have been like Doctor Disrespect. Or I some streamed shit, some, man. yeah. The thing with PUBG though is like I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people just, at least back then when I tried to stream, they didn't really care as much. Like what your yeah, angles no, for some I'm not gonna lie, RuneScape viewers definitely are more. Solidarity. Yeah, like if you streamed rank one or something on old school, you definitely get like a ton of viewers. Mm -hmm. but with PUBG I don't know I just feel like people didn't care as much yeah I mean uh, it, it feels Cardiff? alien for sure for those guys yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so are you currently devious like I I occasionally not as much as I used to but I do occasionally see a video popping up about you fishing minnows and stuff yeah, so are one, you yeah, are you back on the RuneScape grinds now like what's yeah I quit PUBG on? like three weeks ago so I've just been playing RS so Ooh, yeah, so how's the transition from hardcore Iron Man maxing to like ultimate Iron Man maxing? It was the weirdest thing ever, like going yeah. from not dying to dying, like on purpose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, at first I thought this is for anybody too that's listening to this that has been like looking at ultimate Iron Man and hasn't wanted to play it. Like it's actually the most fun I've had out of all three of the. Like it's just looking at it, it's like oh, I don't want to play without a bank. Like it's what, gonna be absolutely what awful. What makes it like more fun? Is it the planning that you have to go through? Yeah, for sure, um, man. Like just everything you do, you, like you have to think about before you do it. Like uh -huh. there's so many times even planning, I've made the wrong mistake. I'm just like, oh no, dude. <laughs> Get another. Like, when you mess up that up, it's just so bad. <laughs> but oh, it's yeah. like the start of ultimate, like. It, it's kind of annoying it's like mm -hmm. iron man you know you want to get the teleports you want to get graceful like it's hard yeah. to move around and stuff but once you get past that like you eventually get used to not having a bank and like that whole aspect like i don't want to play because i want to bank like you just forget about it you're like you get used to having it it's just i don't know how to word it mm -hmm. dude do you know what when it comes to automats like when I when I think about realistically making a warm Iron Man, the first like stone wall I get to in my head is runecrafting. It's like even <laughs> I, I know later on it's not so bad, like when you mm -hmm. hit like what is it, seventy seven and you can make blood yeah. souls. But it's like I just think about those early levels of like literally having to go to Varrock, mining the essence, and then running every fucking inventory to one of the ores to craft, <laughs> which I imagine you'd run it to the one All in right, Varrock. So you're... I don't know if it's waters or earths. But like that to me is an instant stone wall. I'm just like I couldn't do it. I, 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 I struggle. I struggle to do it when I got a bank, let alone when I have to do every inventory by mining myself. There's yeah. a bunch of like there's a bunch of ways around it too. Like you could do um the winter library, time right? and you get like fifteen hundred. Uh, I think around fifteen hundred pure essence from winter time that's noted. Um, so that's like a good start. And then for the rest, I like you could just use Slayer and use zmi and stuff yeah there's also the library right i've seen yeah, yeah, yeah. You can uh, library Mukip. I've, I've seen what do that look pretty yeah, yeah, uh, solid yeah look pretty good to be honest 
By the way, on the um the subject of burnout, so if we can go back to that, because like <laughs> I re I recently took like a month off, right? Yeah. Um, and like I I want to know your opinion on it, Devious, and you as well, Rice Cup, because like okay, from what I know, Rice Cup, you've never ever taken a break, right, which is I, just I'm... like. Yeah, yeah, true. I you're don't right, know how, right. dude. That's like that's okay, incredible, okay. So, man. How the I've fuck taken, do you do it? I've taken nine days apart, but that's because the videos just took that long. So I just, you know, that's how long it took. But like technically, I was off from uploading video for nine days. So and, and I did it back it, to back. Yeah, dude, crazy. your mentality just, is just like how. You know why? I, you, like, like let's talk. Like, bring back the statistics talk, right? Like, you know how like both of you guys had at one point explosive growth. I actually never had that. So for me, like I never had like a stupid standard that I, I had to keep, I guess. Mm -hmm. that, I think that's one reason why. Now, I, I wouldn't say that's the only reason, but I think it's because I just never had like this crazy hill to mm -hmm. actually like stay on, you know what I'm saying? Like it's always been like kind of like this for me. You know, like I'm, I've, I've always been growing, but it's been gradual for the most part. Yeah. I mean, like sometimes you get a little spike, which is cool, you know, that gives you like an extra bit of motivation. But like when it goes down, it never like goes down hard because it's just, it never really like shot up so hard that like your expectations change. Like, I guess my expectations never changed a whole lot because Dude, like I, I imagine, right? If like we went from, I don't know, 20,000 and then all of a sudden you just had 80,000 and then you couldn't maintain it, right? Cause then like a month later, it just like drops down all the way to 20. I, like if I had a situation like that, it would probably like mentally hurt. Yeah, that'd be super motivating. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Cause I think it's always but, been kind of like this, so it's been like I felt the sense of consistent growth, and it's never really backfired so okay. much. Okay. So. So yeah. you prefer like a consistent amount of viewers per well, video? Well, like... I'm not. I'm not saying I prefer, but I think that's why I haven't really like burned out like a crazy amount. I mean, like, you know, some days I feel like you know lazy, but it's only lasts a few days. It never. It never goes like a week or a month or whatever. But yeah. But I yeah, see. Well, yeah. it's it's interesting, man, because like for me personally, like the breaks that I've had away from the game, like the yeah. thing is, I've played the game for such a long time now. Like I'm a very old school player. I think. <laughs> yeah, we are. I, I'd <laughs> say it's pretty much close to like 15 years. Yeah. So for me, it's like whenever I have a break away, it's like I sometimes I just need a fucking break, man. Whether it's a couple of hours playing a different game, yeah. or just like a weekend away, or if it really is bad and it's like, I just need to stop playing for a couple of weeks or possibly a month. Mm -hmm. That is the time when I reflect on like everything that I've done in the last couple of months. And like uh, talking of spikes, like in subscribers and growth, like whenever I've had like a big break like that, that's when I have breakthroughs. And like in that time that I have away, I'm thinking the entire time, what should I do next? And then I won't come back to the game when I'm into, I'm ready. And I'm like, okay, I have a game plan. I'm mm -hmm. going to see if this works out. Like sometimes yeah. having time away in terms of YouTube is really good. Like the month I had away uh, last month, I literally spent the month playing League of Legends and Diablo Three. That's yeah. literally all I did for the entire month, and just like getting out of the house and like doing shit because I just yeah. I couldn't be at my computer basically. And um, like put it this way, like I came back after a month, and before I went away, like the thought of killing Armadil was just like, I couldn't think of anything fucking worse. I was just like, man, I cannot put myself <laughs> through killing that fucking massive ass bird. Like, it's going to kill me. And then I came back a few weeks ago and I was just like, I literally can't wait. And trust yeah, me, yeah, yeah. dude, killing Armadillo on 80 defense, not even fucking playing, right? I did a trip yesterday. I used five brews when I take eight in a trip. Five oh, brews God. on an 80 defense got me two Armadillo kills. <laughs> oh, no. Two. Do you know how tilting that is, dude? Luckily, yeah, one of the kills was a really dude. good drop, but still, it's like oh, okay. there you that's go. <laughs> that's like wearing on your fucking brain, dude. I was yeah. tilting out my mind, man. Two kills for five brews. I was just like, is there any fucking point in this? Seriously, but breaks are good, man. Like yeah, people sure. say to me, oh people yeah, no, say I agree. All the time, what should I do? I feel burnt out of the game. <clears throat> you don't ask that question, dude. Like if you if you feel burnt out from the game or you're not enjoying it, you stop playing it yeah. and then you come back to it. There's nothing wrong with taking breaks. Like for the so, casual player. Personally, I do whatever. take breaks, right? I actually do take breaks, but they're not, they're never like, you know, more than like two days though. Cause like, think about this way. If I ever like, or if a friend or I ever actually like plan something with friends, I will always take, I will always take that over me staying at the house because 
it just it, it like kind of helps clear things out like you also have fun you know reprioritizing some of your other things in your life because like obviously you don't want to get stuck in the cycle forever so like, you know i try i try my best once or maybe twice a week to like spend a day or two you know with some of my older friends and then we just talk about shit and like just hang out and like you know that just helps a lot because it sorts out all your priorities re, you know redistributes your priority a bit and like yeah. helps you focus away from like this usual grind <clears throat> and yeah i agree i when when someone says i feel burnt what should i do i like you most likely should take a break and do something else like literally that that is a really good tip yeah and i would say breaks vary you know like I, I think it's natural right Rexy? i think you're just responding to your natural needs and it's like you know sometimes you need a month off and you know Oh, yeah. yeah or like a week <laughs> off or whatever right like i've taken a week break before you know like on occasion and yeah. it's like it, it helps for sure i mean i mean you yeah gotta, I, you gotta do it in a way you like how to do it for sure obviously yeah. like being a content creator and having like youtube as a full-time income there's like more responsibility to it it's yeah. like there's the factor of obviously yeah like, there, income. there's yeah incompatibility sometimes with breaks yeah and, yeah i get you and then at the same time I, I think the thing for me that gets to me the most man like when i took the month off last month like i i kept getting every single time my phone pinged and it was a youtube comment oh, it would be like yeah. it, every single one would just be like where are you man where are the uploads miss your videos and shit and yeah. like for me that's difficult to look at like it got to a point where i was just like i wouldn't even read it man i just yeah. swipe it i was like i can't look at it right now it's making me feel awful but i'm not ready to play the game do you know what i mean like I, almost like a guilt trick but it's not because i know the people commenting there are genuinely like they're missing the content yeah yeah but like it kind of pulls on my heartstrings because i'm just like i'm letting people down mm -hmm. you know yeah so it's always a nice feeling when you come back and you know people are always like open arms and stuff it's it's yeah. really nice mm -hmm. but I, I think breaks are very very important unless you're right scuff in which case you can just play like your entire and, life yeah, and never get I'll take bored a day of the game. or two off a week sometimes you know <laughs> i i think it's devious i think what it is is that re yeah. is slightly higher up on the spectrum than us yeah you know? maybe <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I, I think for the most part you know i always value consistency over a lot of things so like it's not i <clears> guess it's not just runescape but like i like to be in a routine for a lot of things yeah like like for example when it came to school i literally i don't think i missed more than like two days in like four years of high school or some shit you know what i'm saying i'm talking i'm talking yeah. consistency like i i don't know why i'm just like that type of person maybe it's just the way you like, are, i you know? i don't want to like get into like a stereotype yeah but like yeah. <laughs> typically from the thing is where i live i live in the country in the yeah. uk i don't know any fucking asian people at all <laughs> never never yeah. see them literally never yeah but it's I, like I, I mean, what I, from what I've heard, you guys are just like very driven when it comes to like education. And I imagine if that's drilled into it at a young age where it's like, yeah, work, no, I, work, I did it for myself work. though, to be honest. Like I did, yeah, I did it for that's myself. Pretty, um, I, I've always thought that was the case with you. Like when I think about you in terms of never taking breaks, I'm just like, he can't, he doesn't know what a break yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, it goes really deep in like psychology and shit. Like, you know, like the fact that bro, you only got one life, you know, type of deal. So. I'm just trying to make the most out of my shit, but yeah, the whole, the, that, 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 like, that's another rabbit hole, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's just one thing led to another, you know, consistency is what, what I personally like to go for. But I mean, you know, it's just different people, different, you know, different uh, ways of Dude, going about it. So, right. This, I know this is going off on a tangent, but yeah. it's something I'm genuinely curious about because obviously you come from a completely different culture to me. So like, <clears throat> oh, shit. are yeah. there any people like that you knew at school um all right one second i'm assuming that you went to a school filled with asian people but like did you know mm, any it was asian a mix. people it was like diverse as hell very diverse did you know did you know any asian people that were just complete and are just like dropouts oh yeah you know, man. there was a ton fuck you know like the, st the stereotype can only go so far you know what i'm saying like it, it can only go so far but where i live is very diverse because you know in massachusetts it's just a very diverse state in the in the u.s one of the most diverse areas right so yeah. where i live you know what i mean you'll see a bunch of different people like spanish people you know your your typical american you know like caucasian like korean people like vietnamese people asian people right it's just all types of people and and you know what i mean so for me it's the stereotypes didn't matter that much because i can always see everybody doing the same things that i do even though yeah. they're ethnically different but like yes, yeah, simply put, a lot of Asian people are lazy as lazy as hell. Yeah, you know I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just like 
to me, I has always been like, yo, know, a person's a person because I see all these people do the same thing sometimes, even though they're the you know, same different colors or whatever, right? Like it didn't really matter so much because like I, I could see it evidently that the stereotypes <clears throat> really don't take it too far. But that's just a you know, like I don't I don't get too much further than that. But yeah, there is lazy Asian people for sure. That's okay. Yeah, that's not even that like like it's I, I know it's not true but like yeah i mean I like it's partially true it comes from something right there's a basis but, yeah but like yeah. when i was growing up i remember when i was doing uh here in the uk we do something called well when i was younger we did something called the sats exams no sorry gcse's <laughs> such a long time ago for me but basically a lot of pressure was put on us for our gcse's it, it was effectively yeah. like if you fuck this up you're going to be working at mcdonald's for the rest of your life you're literally <laughs> going to be a waste of space you're going to be a piece of garbage yeah if you that's don't the do stereotype good. yeah it was yeah. the same thing here for us too yeah what, what what's it called out there what was the exam called? uh sat SATs for college. oh yeah. you had the set oh so sats and sat okay fair enough but um i remember uh i can't remember who said it to me am i might even be my fucking mum. she like read some article <laughs> that was like in china um, they had to have the, the people taking the tests use like safety pencils or something like that. Oh, number because, two pencils, maybe? So, something like that, because there had been cases, now oh. I don't know if this is true, but like where some people were taking their exams out in China, oh, like, no, if they, they had so much pressure on them from their parents, it's like if they fucked up and they were sat there like, I have literally screwed this test up, like it'd be known that some of the kids had fucking killed themselves. Oh, like I think that's Japan, that to be honest. That's more Japan. Japan. That's fucking nuts, dude. Wait, did you say like, they killed themselves with a pen? Yeah, like literally, like pen on desk, bang. Like what? Like, mm, I, I don't because, know. If that's like, true. There's so much pressure on. Because, them. like, dude, for example, in Japan, I, I know it sounds crazy, yeah, but yeah, I remember I, being told that. I was just yeah. Like, I don't. Oh, I don't think that's true. But like, uh, in Japan, for <laughs> example, <crazy>. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, like, like Japanese culture is even more like so strict on on the education. I mean, like, there's you know a lot of the uh, Asian countries, like China, maybe like well more so like the rich Chinese people, like or like the uh, middle class Chinese people, right? Like they're or in japan or like maybe in korea like there's a culture in those specific areas where you know education is like the stereotype typical way to be successful right japan especially because like a lot of a lot of people there like you don't die from guns you just die because of stress and you want to commit suicide because like the education is so strict and your expectations of succeeding is so like crazy that obviously Dude, you don't meet it all the social pressure is like no, it's fucking know, like, nuts, man. Bad, yeah. Like yeah. I remember hearing that when I was taking my tests, and like yeah. obviously I don't know how much truth was in it, but yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think I, mm -hmm. I think I was shown like a news article, and I think it was by my mum who showed me, uh -huh. and I was just there like, man, like I'm literally revising for a few hours the night before the exam. I was just like, if I fucking fail, I fail. Do you know yeah, what I mean? But yeah. luckily I didn't, and I managed to get a couple of my IQ through, and I did all right. But like. <laughs> I, I've always like that's always stuck with me and I've always like perceived and just, not in a bad way but when I think of like people that are like Asian people I think they're very educationally driven and it's like it's very important to them and like just from that alone like killing yourself over something so fucking small in my opinion it's just like shit like well their priorities I mean that's the thing it's not different. it's not small because they're pressured by you know family and stuff too but to, I mean, you know. we're like living proof of even if you fuck up, you can. Just yeah, they they don't know. Videos, That's man. the thing. You know, it's like a it's a it's a different world, dude. In Japan, like with education and stuff like that, it's a different world over there, dude. I I wish I was yeah. more educationally driven. I, I mean, that, honestly, but. you could say that you know, kind of. They wish they could see some of how people that aren't like necessarily crazy at studying actually lives a pretty yeah. good life. They don't. Oh, they, man, they, they can't see that. Probably, they've never seen that idea that potential right yes dude so, i'll say this man if i could have if i could have done like an exchange student thing and like moved to japan for like a year or even a fucking week so i could just experience what that was like i'd have totally done it man yeah and get then yourself they... some really strict parents <laughs> yeah it would, i think it would have been really interesting man yeah. it could have like completely changed me as a person but mm -hmm. hey i am what i am i suppose yeah. yeah should we get to the game updates or something yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so what we have for the table, this one. See, we Devious, have... this is the problem of having you on, man. We got a massive tangent, dude. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, it's a, good thing I asked, like it. it's a good thing I asked a few good Q&As, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <they> were good. <laughs> uh, where did we put it? Oh, no. Where did we put this? Um, I think we were talking about the RuneScape League thing. 
that they were implementing. Yeah, seriously, where do we put it? Anyways, um, so see, yeah. yesterday or, or the day before, they announced this idea, right? Like, I guess it's going to replace the whole Demimo thing that they were doing for years and years and years. You know, you know about the RuneScape leak? Did you guys read up on it yet? I know. Yeah, like actually, there wasn't much in the in the actual blog that they didn't tell us. Yeah, much. no, they just kind of sold the idea. Uh, it was just selling the idea more than anything. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they're gonna talk about it more at Runefest for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. This this is a pretty uh, pretty different thing that they're trying to pitch here. This is very different. Yeah, should, yeah, we, I, should I read it? I read. Yeah, or you want to read it? Or do you want to read? It? I'm a bit. I'm ill, man. Okay. I got bad for it. You read it. All man. right. What if you could be the First RuneScape player to get a fire kit or defeat the Barrows Brother or match your account. League is a brand new game mode that's your opportunity to start from scratch in a race to be the first to, da, 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 to complete major old school achievements, but there's a twist. Each limited time league has its own rule set designed to test your skill, your determination, and your uh, old school knowledge. Level up as fast as you can, complete tasks, and earn points. To customize your experience, you'll have to use all your skill, knowledge, determination, and build a Workable strategy before someone else snatches victory from you. Are you ready for the ultimate old school challenge? Right. So, yeah, what does that give you guys impression wise? You know, when you read that, <laughs> I'm kind of confused, honestly, because it says, like, do you want to be the first to get a fire cape? You want to do this, this? But then it talks about, okay, do tasks. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know. To, to me, it me. just it sounds like, um, like seasonal accounts, which I'm not opposed to. It sounds interesting. Like, Obviously, you make an account for a season, you've got a certain amount of time to do something, and mm -hmm. you can be the first to get the fire cape on the season and stuff like that. Sounds cool, I suppose. Yeah. So, the, the mm -hmm. next part gets more into it. Like, stripped of your items and levels, you'll complete hundreds of new challenges in ways you never thought possible. Conquer a variety of tasks to gather points for relics. Break free from the meta and strategize your every move. The more times you complete, the more points you unlock, and the quicker you can prevail. So, these are like your power ups. So I, I think this is what's going on, right? Um, you know how Demon will have like four seasons? So I think every time they do a season of this, they will have like one major goal, right? Like finish line, right? That someone has to com complete. Mm -hmm. And the, this system is offering like power-ups, boosts that you can do to maybe quicken the process of getting to whatever the finish line is. Like let's say the, the, the goal is to first to max, right? So like if you do some of these tasks, you get these points, right? And then you get the points and then you can use it to like unlock double XP for a certain amount of time or something like that. Does that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, so do, I think that's how they're doing it. In this at all? Yeah, yeah, there's... Um, I feel like there has to be like yeah. much stuff like that. Um, <laughs> there is, oh, dang, they, they said it somewhere, but... I know there's a lot of, there's like oh, yeah, a thread So this is too, what the twist is, stuff. right? So this is what I'm talking about. Like these power-ups are the twists. And um, so in order to complete as many times as possible and a lot of relics, each more powerful than the last, choose between multiple buffs, such as resource harvested or double, or resources harvested are automatically banked for the rest of the league. You see what I'm saying? So like, you unlock these power-ups, and then uh, depending on how you do it, you might be able to gain a significant speed boost to getting to the goal and you know being number one. So it kind of reminds me of Mario Kart. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that kind of like... Except it, it doesn't re rely on like, you know, throwing a turtle at someone. But yeah, you get to power up yourself. If you do it right, you might get number one. So I feel like uh, between seasons, they're going to have to change it up a lot. Like, I don't think they can do the same thing. <clears throat> because once people learn the meta and stuff, it's just going to be the same thing over and over. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess like goals, like finish line... Um, seasons like maxing or like and or, or like being the first person to be x boss might be different but yeah i think people will start figuring out some of the metas so what, what are you saying like they would have to change how the rewards work i don't know like it, yeah i know Azirus on twitter was talking about it and he said that um like he was thinking about this idea because they do it on poe Oh yeah, Poe. Uh, Path of Exile. Yeah. yeah, and he said that, but you can get, like max level and stuff and get to end game bosses on Poe in like fifty hours. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that like unless this is like super sped up, that people are gonna get bored of it after the first season. Yeah, actually, I don't think they can do the max cape thing. Then that's kind of <clears throat> way too fucking long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think it'd be like max. Cape. Oh, maybe well, first to a ninety nine skill or something. Do you I know what? I think that'd be long, short enough. I think that if we go into this assuming that it's gonna have like. 
I, I've got a funny feeling the XP rates for this to make it interesting will more than likely be the same or similar to how Deadman mode was. So I expect it to be like times 25 XP off the bat. Because like if you really think about it, like when you think of Deadman mode and how successful it actually was. It was great and marketing, you, no, not gonna lie. Yeah, but then like, if you think about like in the game right now, what's the most popular thing to do? And I would pretty confidently say hands down, it has to be Iron Man. There's PvP so many people that I know. PVM. PvP or PvM. I I, I, but that's close. the thing. I wouldn't say PvP. Like, if you were to compare the amount of people that play the game purely... Oh, oh you're talking about PvP. playing the game. I'm talking about, like, watching yeah. the content. But, yeah. Uh, so, I'm talking about purely, like, the interest in playing the game. It's more Iron Man focused than what it is PvP. So, if they actually made this so it was, like, a competitive, you know, non-PvP, but somewhat entertaining well, to watch. Mm -hmm. Like, this could be... I'd say very successful as long as they go about it yeah. the right way. But I, I, I feel like they should have done them. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can go. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I, f I feel like they should have done something more like King of the Skull because I feel like that was. Perfect. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. But um, how long did it last? I think its flaw was that it lasted a little too long. I believe. Yeah, I can't remember how long it lasted. It was like, I just thought I just like, thought like having a certain amount of time to play was like perfect because it yeah like put like your actual skill into it, <laughs> not just who plays the most. Which I feel like this is what this is gonna. Be. Like yeah, the most yeah. Um, I think King of the Skill lasted over a week. Um, what would you say if they were to do a time constraint thing? How long would it should it last? Like if it was like <laughs> this or like King of the Skill or like you know just like a format. How long should these competitions last to you? You know, uh, that's a good question. Honestly, that makes it like interesting, right? Because like uh, it's too it's a week too <clears throat> long. You know, I I think it all depends on the XP. So yeah. like, for, I, well, I, think, like, I don't think they they're gonna actually just give you artificial rates because look at these boosts like those are what would artificially increase your your rates right like how I feel like the longer around. they make it the least people are gonna want to play it the next season <clears throat> yeah like if they make yeah. it like a couple weeks people will be all right I didn't put that much time and that much progress into this like I'll start over but if it's like this two months or whatever. People are gonna do it for two months. The next one's gonna come around. It's gonna be kind of the same thing. And be like, you know, I kind of don't want to lose my progress. I might as well just play the main yeah. game. Yeah, especially so, since the rewards are just cosmetics and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So like, I I don't think that. Well, okay. So let's say it's a week, right? What are some reasonable things they can like set as like a challenge for people to get first, right? Maybe a quest cape. Maybe uh, I don't know. First to beat a certain boss. Actually, no. Bosses are pretty easy to cheese. So like, maybe you don't. Total get level. It. Total mm -hmm. level would be a big one. Yeah, like certain. Yeah, yeah, like uh, fifteen hundred total or like oh yeah. ninety nine, getting a ninety nine. Yep. Right. Would those or work? They'd out They probably they probably have it in tiers, I imagine. So like you know, it could be a small one with a few points for like first level seventy, <clears throat> eighty, yeah. ninety, ninety nine, mm -hmm. etc. I think what'd be cool is um between seasons maybe they put like uh, a high scores for people who did it in like a certain amount of time. Yeah. Like maybe game time played or something, so that it takes it away. I don't know. I think it would be cool, like season to season, like say like a 1500, 1750, 2000, first 99s, all that stuff. And between seasons, they can put like, uh, this is the person that got this the quickest and this is the amount of time they took. So between seasons, people can like change their metas and everything and try to beat the fastest time or something. Oh, okay. So uh, you're saying if there is one season, there will be multiple of the same types of contests. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like you got to give some people something other to go for than just like the cosmetics that they have. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I hope there's some cash prizes though, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I and feel then like that's can what. Just not get them, you know? Because I... <laughs> I feel like that's what what the other half is needed. Like, Demon Mode, obviously, there's a big prize, right? I think that's what a lot of people like seeing that shit. It's like, who's going to win? The ten thousand. Oh yeah, definitely. The prize right. definitely makes people want to watch it. More. Exactly. They need a prize. I mean, th this shit's gonna be dead if there's no prize, or like the ha the viewership yeah. is gonna be so bad without a prize. Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be at least a few grand, like at least. <laughs> I feel like they have to think of something like how demo mode had the final hour too. Like I feel like they have to figure something out that they can do like this. Mm -hmm. That'll want to be. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they could do so sort of the same thing like after the end of the season. Actually, no, they probably can do that because they're saying there's like five different things. Like, if they had it be one thing, like, the end of a season, you give people, like, okay, top certain amount of accounts, get a week, now to whatever race yeah, for this yeah, or this that. Should, yeah, this should be, like, an, a decent reward for, like, 50 people or something, you know, the first 50. Yeah. The top 50, well, and then number one wins dude, big. I, I think for this, like, I like this idea and building from it. I think if they were to make this competitive, 
say they were to make it like a month long per season's a month so a month on month off if they gave it um you know some sort of more applied experience per hour and they made it so like they did the calculations to the point where it's like somebody could literally max a complete account for doing this and obviously if they were to do that it would have to be like a top page RuneScape player you'd yeah. have to be putting in the same amount of hours like this is a wacky idea for a reward but imagine if they said like the person who has the highest total level gets to keep the account in the main game oh my god people would oh be so god. mad god. Like, nah, but, but think ridiculous. about it like that would be cool man that would be like no, i think cash support. prize i think a cash prize is the most like you know official and not like sketchy way to go about it i mean like but you're like, saying which... the cash is less sketchy than just keeping because think about it like which like 16 hours like game which game like but like which game doesn't do cash right i think it's, that's just the standard that you know what i mean you just gotta go with it like I every mean, it has to be something with cash like so yeah have the money exactly right yeah exactly it's gotta be cash like they should make the cash pools way bigger, seeing as how yeah. there's not going to be like a show at the end of this. And on top of that, it's not going to be as exciting as Dead by Mode. So maybe like first place gets $50,000 or something like that. That would be fucking crazy. Yeah, I would that say would honestly, really cool. even $10,000, $5,000 would be... It's going to incentivize a fuck ton of people to want to do oh, this. Oh, but come on, man. Like, that's nothing Well, because, like, the thing the is, if they're doing multiple down. of these a year, right? Like, I don't think they can hand out 50000 on the fly like that every time. I, I don't know, uh, man. You know, 10,000 is quite a lot, you know? As consider Well, we don't even know the pace that they're going to do, right? Like, how much they're going to do. Yeah, we, just, we don't really do. don't know much about it. I, wish, I really wish they put more in the blog or just waited until Yeah, they yeah. Us. You know what it is? It's like a... Really, it's just, like, the foundation. That's it. There's there's no interior. There's no, you know, none of that shit in, in this idea yet. Yeah. So, I mean, they obviously have a lot more behind it, too. They're just not telling us yet. Yeah, like, what I really want to know... Before they show a bunch. Yeah, stuff like how often are you going to do it, and, like, how many competitions are you going to run during each session, <clears throat> you know? And what are some examples of, like, the, the race, you know, that you will do? Yeah, yeah, game, yeah. Right? It, like, there's, like, like five different ways to play it, too. I mean, yeah, I yeah. There's a lot of ways to structure it, so I would, I would love to know some of their ideas, you know? Because... Ultimately, how you structure it is going to be super important, like, without a doubt. Yeah, I really think if they do this right, it could be actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. For sure, yeah. The real question is, like, um, well, you know, we talked about, like, the whole viewership thing. Like, I think that's what the problem is going to be, ultimately. It's just how to gain viewership from this. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to be, like, how are they going to make the streaming like potential video making potential for this work right because like a lot of other games when they do competitions it's pretty straightforward it's, it's people directly competing with people so you can always just like capture moments you know in like in a predetermined stage but this like you can't really do that because it's a it's a big ass world everyone's gonna be like off doing their own thing and you really can't capture like all these people in completely different places yeah i have no idea how they're gonna do this for because that i think streams. i think that's like one of the weaknesses of like competitions in this game like if it's not pvp is that you can't really like you know record and like stream the competitor in, in the yeah, place like here, here you see a guy who's freaking <laughs> yeah, yeah that's like the problem fighting. yeah it's so hard it's just that's just so hard to do yeah so i i don't know i don't know how they're gonna overcome that barrier because that's huge dude every other challenge you know like league or whatever is pretty straightforward your competitors go in one map, you know, yeah, and exactly. then everybody just competes and you just capture everything on one go. So I don't think there's anything like this for any other like There MMO isn't. Or, <laughs> and that's a, that's such a challenge. Like how do you how are you gonna make this interesting to watch? That's the biggest thing. Yeah. I mean money obviously first thing that helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean it has potential. Have to wait and see. It, it's got fucking potential, but man. Um, are we gonna talk about the lottery thing too? I mean, uh, no, the the MTX thing too. What are we talk about? I've not heard yeah. anything about this, dude. So I didn't. Dude, I didn't hear anything about it until last week. Mate, you live in the UK, bro. <laughs> yeah, kidding. I know, but like, I'm I also scared. live in my my basement, basically playing video games. Yeah, that's all right. I don't read the news, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we posted a link, so if you wanna. Somebody, have that I don't know where it is, but somebody linked me like the amount of money that Jagex made. This year, last year, and the year before, of all MTX and everything. Yeah, so. there was some statistics. I just don't have it. I'm 
with me. But um, I don't know exactly. So this this is gonna be you know a little bit a little slow here to talk about. But if it's worth talking about, you know we we'll we'll get started. Following a nine month long investigation in nature immersive and addictive technologies. Whoa, that's a really fancy name. I know, right? <laughs> calling it MTX, but <laughs> a report was published this week that looked into the possible negative effects of gaming. Social media evidence was collected from numbers of sources to probe into potentially addictive facets of gaming, with companies such as Epic Games, Jagex, and Facebook taking part. All right, so apparently there's a link to this, a report. Oh man, I don't think we're gonna really get into this, but maybe we can get into. Oh yeah, there's something on here. Where is it? Maybe we can get into the conclusion section. Yeah. Wow, it's still kind of long, but um. Yeah, here it is, like under uh point three. Point three. They like specifically put RuneScape there. I know there's something you can click. Oh, this one. They have like a whole thing on. Yeah, yeah. I can screen cap. Oh yeah, yeah. You can screen cap. That'd be better. Because I never looked deep into this. But essentially, they're revising. Like they they're revising their gambling uh, laws, and maybe that might impact like MTX and video games in the UK. But yeah. okay, this one. All right. Yeah, there it is. Jagex told us that it generates about one third of its revenue from microtransactions. Uh, okay. Did you say one third? One third, yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah, he is huge. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> there are some whales out there for sure <laughs> you know for sure okay uh with two years coming from alternative subscription model which is you know premium five five dollars well no it's eleven dollars a month now Woof. yeah <laughs> eleven dollars <laughs> players can potentially spend up to a thousand uh is that euros or pounds uh euros euros or five thousand we're skipping that. Years. but that only one player hit that limit in the previous 12 months okay good i'm glad they said that because there's always the stereotype that everybody in our street just spends thousands of dollars obviously not you know like yeah, they're not really that much the... different from like your <laughs> typical person literally there might be 10 people you know that might most spend of the people actually in r3 to hate mtx so yeah they do more. they do true they do yeah but yeah man for sure mtx is just you know it works, man. People love cosmetics and people that are, you know. Above. Also, I watched the um. There's a uh, hour long like like this whole thing actually started like I think five months ago, six months ago, and that's when the Jagex actually went to the the parliament and like had to give a statement and everything. And it's just yeah. now, like within the last week, that um, the parliament is talking about like yeah. doing it again. So, but um, I watched like the first thirty minutes of Jagex talking there. You should watch it. It's actually really interesting the way he like breaks <clears throat> stuff down. Like I feel like he's just playing around it, but mm -hmm. um, he gets the point across that the average player plays like I don't know, like two hours a day or something. Mm -hmm. And um, he also <clears throat> that, like I don't know. It's just how they work around it because you can tell the parliament's like, okay, everybody's addicted to games. Like we need to. Know, that's just how it, fe it feels mm -hmm. like when they're talking. It's like they're addicted to games. We need to get them away from the games they're playing less. So he, he talks about like. The player can log out whenever they want like it's a game you can just hop on and play wherever you want so you don't yeah. have to play long periods of time like you could play for yeah. an hour and be like okay i don't want to play for a month and you come back and your character's in the same spot mm -hmm. but he wanted to get across like you know it's just you can play whenever you want you don't have to play <clears throat> long periods yeah of time. like how much people want to play is completely up to them yeah, yeah exactly yeah but yeah this i mean like what are the implications the right <laughs> They they want to apply well maybe some of them right in the, in the lawmaking body they want to apply gambling laws to MTX yeah 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 well what are you saying Rixie I was gonna say what exactly is the law they're trying to like get through in terms of like MTX like I'm I assuming they're, they're trying not... to make it more difficult right they're lowering the amount that you can spend monthly like good the max amount you can spend i'm like 90 percent sure that's what it is what they're trying to do like people just get like really addicted into like microtransactions yeah. like speaking for myself personally like you guys everyone's heard of counter strike uh csgo when they yeah. came out with like literally on the screen right now the uh the loot crates yeah, i didn't even the play biggest example Dude, I didn't even play that game but like, i've been playing counter strike since i was a little <laughs> kid but like i never played counter strike like on a um What's the word? 
Like on a PC? concurrent. No, I'm just, no, no. Like on a basis which is consistent. Like I don't play it very often. It might be like once every few months. But me and my friends went to it, and we went to it at the time when these first came out. And we were like, ooh, shiny knives and red skins. <laughs> yeah, tied to the same. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I spent a foul, like, I think it was over a thousand dollars on fucking opening those cases and keys. It's and addicting, man. Yeah. I never, like, we literally, we would spend the entire night in my friend's house. Like, we land party all the time. All my mates' computers were on my friend's house, you know. And instead of actually playing the game, we would be gambling oh, the entire yeah. night. That's I feel like that's a lot of do. people too. Like, it's yeah, crazy with the crates. Mm -hmm. I was watching it, um, somebody stream. I'm not gonna say who it is. A few days ago, but um, they're doing the same thing. They barely played the game. They all got on. They're like, hey, I'm gonna throw some money in. All right, you throw this amount in. All right, let's buy some crates. And they're all just opening crates. And then they're like, all right, last one. And then you know, last one becomes last one, last one, last uh, yeah, one, last one, 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 last one. one. <laughs> yep. It's like, dude, if we weren't opening crates. We were watching YouTube videos of people getting very lucky, getting knives. Like, we were so fucking retarded and hooked. It was just stupid. But, like, I spent a thousand dollars and I got two, uh, what's the shitty Uzi you get in CSGO? Is it the MP, MP something? You know what I'm talking about, like, the Uzi on the, uh, terrorist team? Like, it uh, sucks. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I, yeah. think, it's, I think it's just called the Uzi, honestly. Mac okay. 10, maybe? Yeah, I think it's the Mac 10. So with a thousand dollars, I got two of the same red skins for that, and it was worth like two dollars <laughs> fifty for that skin. So I basically each time I got it, I basically got my money back on what I put in. But yeah, it was like in the end, I gave up and actually just bought a knife off the market for like sixty bucks. And now I never play that game. I yeah, no, that game because because just... every time every time I go into that game instantly look at my inventory see the knife i spent 60 dollars on which then i add an extra thousand pounds on top of and i'm just like i can't play this shit like it yeah. literally pisses me off going on to that game i can't do it so yeah. yeah they should they should they should totally cap it it should be like 10 pounds a day 10 pounds is reasonable man 10 pounds is a lot of money you know and 10 pounds is like 12 bucks that's all you should be able to gamble a day yeah on no games. because i mean i'll be honest with you it's straight gambling because uh, at least oh, yeah, with the CX, csgo uh like thing is that those items that you're you're trying to spend money on they actually have a value right oh yeah for sure so so what that means is they can literally game the system right so that in the long run you will always uh lose more than what you would initially just could just buy it off of guaranteed right definitely like if, if your sort is bought guaranteed for 60 dollars they're gonna definitely make you pay more than that in the long run by doing the gambling yeah, because they know all the numbers. Curious. Yeah, you know what I'm How saying. You know, off those. Yeah, it's really quite interesting. Like you know the psychology behind it, right? So recently, I, I obviously I still play League of Legends a fair bit, and obviously I've bought skins in the past with real money. And uh, with League recently, for anyone that's playing League of Legends, they're coming out with like a, a handbook, like a hardback book. With all of the lore and i think it's going to be pretty beefy and it's going to have loads of cool illustrations in it and stuff like that and me and my friends group that all play league of legends um we were discussing whether we were going to buy it and my mentality was a hundred percent although it's expensive and it's about 30 dollars for the handbook it's like i play this game almost every single day and have done for years and i have nothing in the real world to show for it nothing so i see this book to me as like all of the money I've spent on skins, it's like I'm actually getting a real life product <laughs> that I could have and look at and be like, okay, I do like this game. Instead of just looking at my account and having all these skins, that I'm just like, oh, I'm bored of them. Do you know what I mean? Like the only League of Legends thing that I have, actually, I got two things. So completely unrelated. You don't even get this from the League of Legends um, website. That's a mask, which is 3D uh, printed or whatever it's called, which costs like nothing. And then I've got a big uh, canvas on my wall, which is like a gym. Oh, that's canvas. cool as hell. Yeah, and then I got a massive Rick and Morty one there as well, which huh. is badass. Those are but awesome. yeah, it's like, of course I'm going to buy the logbook, because then I won't feel bad about buying all the skins. I'll actually huh. physically own something from the original game itself from Riot, you know? But yeah, I, I hate MTX, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, mm -hmm. I've never bought anything in a oh, game since yeah, I like. I think, I think there's obviously, uh, you know, a boundary, right? Like... Well, not like a clear cut boundary, but stuff like cosmetic MTX is probably not the worst thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Because like skins is cosmetic. It's not, it doesn't, you know, like make your character stronger or whatever. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. 
Was these knives straight cosmetic or was it like good? Like if you use no, them? no, they're cosmetic. Oh, okay. Yeah, like dude, I'm talking like pixels on your screen. Like yeah. basically ah, the same dude. as buying like a, a bandles chest plate from like. That's a actually crazy because they they actually made those knives so like addictive, even though it's cosmetic. Yeah. And well, I I guess ridiculous. I guess it's a little different because like you're playing third person view, so like you, you know your knives are pretty much like super easy to see. I guess. Mate, look, there's, there's no way that you can say it that makes yeah. me think other <laughs> than the fact that it is a bunch of fucking worthless pixels on my screen. Oh yeah, it is. For sure. <laughs> I, mean, I, I like pixels. Like, I can't yeah. pick it up and have it in yeah. my hands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's so it's so stupid. Man. Yeah. Like, it's actually. That's actually crazy. Dumb. Yeah. I hate crazy. that. I thought it's I thought like... people bought these knives because they had good stats, and but like, bro, it's just no, like no, and that's completely cosmetic. Like they look amazing. Yeah, like, they're dude. so cool, man. Like they can be like rainbow colored and have like like all kinds of patterns, and you can flip it around in game. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like I can talk game. to you. <laughs> oh, I just you know remember I mean? one thing I wanted to mention about the MTX thing. I don't mm. really know if this is related at all, but you know, you know how we're gonna talk about how there's J mods leaving recently. You think that might be at all related to them making less money? from the microtransactions so they have to let people go has it been stated mm, that they're making less mm, um, i don't know man if i you feel go, like if, they might just be leaving because they're not interested you know i don't know like it's just, i feel like it's compared to all the other years it's just super consistent with people leaving I, like if the last one was like two in one day right like if people were just leaving like when well i mean like a atlas was already like kind of you know re getting ready to leave for a while now i think I, I just really feel like there's something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about that's making everybody leave. I mean, if you actually, know. if you look at Jagex as a company, like it's pretty well known that the people that work there, they're on not very good money yeah. for what they're doing. Yeah, like, yeah. They, they can effectively do, they, with their skills, like they could go get another job paying mm -hmm. a lot more, doing something different. So most of the people there are there out of like the passion and love for the game. I personally think that we don't have an issue or we shouldn't really think too much into it until somebody such as like mod ash decides oh to hand yeah that would be a like, big hit yeah like if one of like the really notorious like old school fucking devs that's been there for years loves the game super passionate and they're retiring and it's yeah. not because they're actually retiring they're just leaving the job like we got an issue then but until that happens i'm not too worried myself yeah i, I don't think, think it has bad. to do with necessary mtx though because I think I think the whole MTX thing is part of a greater problem, not just with RuneScape, but just with, you know, the mm. the future, you know, in general, like with how how gaming and how crazy prolific it is to like spend yeah. money on it. I think that's just a big issue, bigger issue that right. you know isn't just RuneScape tied. And dude, I can tell you this like firsthand. I'll give you some insight right now. I'm sure I can talk about this. I hope, but like I've met. A lot of the old screenscape team and i will say this like they don't have anything to do with microtransactions at least my knowledge and the people mm. i've spoken to they've got nothing to do with it and a lot of them are basically of the same um thought process as us which is like it's shit it destroys the game it takes away its integrity etc etc like something which amazed me the first time i went to jagex studios if you ever get the opportunity to go there it's a huge building. I think it's like four stories high. Huge building. There's like a massive like cinema room in the middle where they have like a big projector. It's literally like a cinema where they can showcase like, you know, all of their new stuff on the big screen. Yeah, I've seen that. I remember they, uh, yeah. there's pictures of uh, like the Inferno, like all of them and they're watching yeah. it, right? And it's cool as fuck, man. It's awesome. Like, I would love to work there personally. I think it's an awesome place. But like, I was absolutely gobsmacked when I found out. And like, you go in there and there's just like hundreds of employees and it's like, fuck, how many people work at Jagex? And then like speaking to the JMods and they were like, well, actually there's, you know, say 400 people. I don't know the numbers exactly, but there's 400 people employed here in this building and only like 15 of them are the old school team. Yeah, I the heard there's like a, like in the back corner of one of the floors or whatever is like the old school runescape section, right? That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true. Uh it's not true i i can't talk about that stuff i don't think but okay. it's you know I, I feel like that's quite telling right it's like out of say and there's a random number but it's close to 400 employees for there to be like 15 to 20 people that are working on old school yeah it's well like, there's also a few that are know. cross game too they they work for both games as well i know the yeah. yellow that engine people do stuff for both games i know that yeah i'm yeah 
I mean, like, I think that's what makes old, old school great for the most part is that they have those few iconic J mods that you can really be personal with, and they you know that they're the ones that are mainly working on the game. You know, and thinking about it, like, like the smaller, like, do you think if there's a bigger team, like, you, you know how there'd be more updates, right? And um, I maybe that would see actually don't want the a huge like team. i don't i don't either i'm just yeah. saying if there was a bigger team there'd be more updates and i feel like that would make the game well like so we'll have more stuff where... but like yeah mm -hmm. with with any mmo like i feel like the only way to put new content in the game is to have something be better than something else right so if the team was if the team was bigger then we'd have more updates and i feel like the game would tie quicker <laughs> i don't know yeah <laughs> that, yeah yeah so oh. here's how i think about it right like so I, I don't really find this year, because like a lot of people are like, oh, this year, nothing really great happened, yada, yada. So this is my kind of, kind of argument. I'm like, let's be honest, bro. We can't always ride the hill. You know, at some point you gotta, you gotta come off of the hill, right? And just take a breather, right? Like, I think, I think RuneScape players or like the high level players, they're, they're living off this high that this game is just going to keep growing, 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 and just never stop. But like, we got to take a moment to look back and just, you know, look back at the things that we got and just kind of re realize that, look, we've been doing great it, and and we don't necessarily got to rush everything, you know, because yeah, everything's no. going to come to an end at some point, right? The more we rush it like that, we got to just yeah. appreciate what we got. So this year is just like a year of just, you know, we got an Elf City update, cool, you know, some smaller things out there. This year's just chill year, right? Because next year, I hope it's the hype year, right? Where they release maybe a new mode for players or like a new crazy pvm i yeah, thought there's gonna be a lot of stuff like, yeah that's I, what I, I'm, I, like that's like, how i literally think about it. from what you've just said re like yeah. next year is gonna be the hype year like i couldn't disagree with you more <laughs> i mean like, i hope look, so i'm just saying i hope it is the hype but, year but, but like if you look at like this year man it's like yeah old screenscape mobile that was this year was that it, this year? Some... it was early yeah. this year it was like yeah super it, it early. was early this year but it was this year and that was like by far yeah. one of the biggest most impactful oh no no i thought i thought mobile was last year sorry mobile i thought was mobile was last year because it felt like it's been yeah how long has it been yeah. it's not been that long like it really hasn't been that long like so much has happened this year but you know it's the i mean yeah no mo mo fast. i'm not talking about like see mobile's not a game update though that's you know what i'm saying that's that's like no. external yeah you know i mean okay, but I'm, I'm talking about in actual terms of like actual game update. I, i'm not talking about this year wait are, what's i see videos on youtube of people doing training methods on mobile from last year yeah no i'm pretty sure mobile's like last year to be honest was it really a whole? Was it but more it, than a year? Either way, really? like I'm not even getting at that. I'm just saying, like game updates. You know the things that actually get implemented in the game. I'm just saying there really hasn't been a whole lot, and I I know people are complaining like, oh, there's not a lot of game updates. But like, see, I've been I've been saying all the time like, actually, guys, we need to slow down a little bit because recently yeah. for years, every week they just try to keep putting out these quality of life shenanigans that like don't amount to anything. It just makes the game easier and easier. Like we don't really need all of that anyways. Like it should be about quality, not quantity, right? So so that's what we should go for. And instead of just adding fluff all the time, I'm just- They need to the fix game. a lot of stuff they have too. Like yeah, I exactly. spend a lot of yeah. time fixing That's stuff. what I'm saying by quality. Like we, we gotta yeah, focus sure. on the quality, man. Like a lot of the updates are kind of subpar. We should really like make it better. So that way we don't like add new stuff and then also have to worry about old stuff and then and then eventually also worry about some of the newest stuff because you rushed it. And then we just have more things to worry about, right? Like yeah. fix the things that we worry about. And, you know, obviously, in, 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 and keep the uh, quality in the new updates so that we don't have to worry about the new updates, right? Going forward, because that's, it's annoying. Like, for example, mm, some recent updates. I think Gauntlet, like, needs some work, you know? Like, they should really, like, fix some of those. Because, like, it's new content, but it already has flaws. Like, really glaring flaws. People don't want to do it. The uh, the rewards are not that great. <laughs> True. It's too difficult. Blah, blah, blah. Like, before you try to add some more shit into this game, please fix this stuff. And and, yeah, and, and, be, and also, there's a lot of older stuff that needs some fixing. Integrity issues, right? Like, the quality and how Iron Man mode is, like, players are doing it. Like, people with, like, ults and stuff on their Yeah, they cared like so that. much when it came out. And, really and, and like, also, like, third-party clients. Like, there's so many things. I mean, that's a different topic. But it's just, like, they got to fix a lot of this shit first, you know? Yeah. That's why I'm saying this year should have been about fixing shit, right? Rather than adding shit. And I don't know if they've done a good job at that. But 
Like, I don't I think mean, every the, year needs right. needs like crazy updates. I hope next year is like crazy updates. Do you know? Do you know what? Yeah. It, it, this room fest this year, yeah. man. Like, I think for me, like, just like off the bat, off the top of my head, I'm like, if they literally had an announcement announcements for Old School Runescape, and they were just like, okay, there isn't any big project we're working on right now. There's nothing which is under under plans. We're yeah. literally going to spend the next six months sorting out like account security for starters. Hmm. I would just be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they mentioned you know account I mean? security. Like, yeah, I'd be yeah. 100% fine with no big updates or anything. Like, like, I well, like well I, think, I think those are separate people, right? But like, I'm just saying, bro, they need to also work on those things too. But yeah, yeah. I, I guess I just kind of cross like it's topic the thing it, is, yeah. the thing is i like talking about this stuff because it's such yeah. a double-edged sword because i agree so much like yeah they should just focus on like the issues at hand right now third party clients account security things in game which aren't great and improve on those and just make them perfect the yeah, reason it's a double-edged sword so, is because yeah. on the other end mm -hmm. you got the pvp community you got the iron man community you got whatever community you can think of saying hey we've not had an update in a while why aren't there any game updates? So it's like to understand that. Yeah, it's it's a it, cross. It's, it's connection like although issue. all three of us clearly agree that there's issues that need to be dealt with right now. Yeah. No, there's never going to be a time of old school RuneScape where everybody's happy. Yeah, for it's sure. It's never going to happen. So, it's always going to be a bit of a mess. It just is what it is. So, but it's like you yeah. know, there's always going to be certain parts of the community which are pissed for whatever reason. Yeah. Which is why I personally don't go on Reddit. And I very rarely oh, go true. on Twitter because it's just like negativity, yeah. negativity. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I don't fucking care. It's like, I enjoy the game and I like the game experience. I play it in my own way. There's things which aren't great. There's things that piss me off and I can get on the bandwagon about third party clients and account security. Yeah. But at the end of the so, day, the game's never going to be in a place where it's perfect. There's never going to be a absolutely. day where every RuneScape mm -hmm. player wakes up and they're like, I'm going to yeah. log into RuneScape today. My favorite game. I don't have any quarrels or <laughs> issues with this game. Like, it's yeah, never no, going to happen. happen. It's just, yeah. It won't. I I would just say there are glaring issues um, that isn't isn't just the fault of one particular team, right? Like, you, we got we always have to like hammer down this point that people the the staff that work on updates are not the people that works on security, not the people that work on tackling issues with third party clients, right? They're not the same people, right? So uh, where was I getting at? Oh yeah, yeah. So like, there's there's two big issues that that I that we uh kind of you know just intermingled like we talk about like lack of game updates or quality of game updates or or account security whatever but it's like two different actual big things that needs to be resolved right mm -hmm. so like for the for the update team you know like mod ash and you know those people that create the updates right obviously they should focus a lot on fixing some of the old shit and whenever they do care about releasing a new update it should be quality updates not just like focus on the number of updates every week I don't really care about the number of updates. I'd rather have really good updates once in a while that you could play for a long time, right? And have very little issues with. And then there's also like the team, which is I think the biggest problem is like the teams that are supposed to work on account security, the team that is supposed to work on, you know, dealing with like third party clients, stuff like that. I think those teams are very lacking. I think it's too little, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel yeah. like there's just not a proper team for that stuff, like the engine team. <clears throat> Like that allows better infrastructure for this game, so that we can actually oh, yeah, implement dude, updates. I, I feel like those that teams up. that are responsible for these things, they're so like so little. They're so yeah, lacking. Ha, ha, like nine to ninety percent of the time, people talk yeah. about updates, like their replies. We that would need engine work. I mean, it's like, not like they're lying, right? It, oh but yeah, I don't think they're lying like, either. But I agree with you. Like the the team, just from what I've heard, with like the, the engine, it's always the engine team. Yeah, and then Mod Atlas, engine work, engine the work. guy, dude, he's like yeah, the he big left. Yeah, he's like leaving. Biggest, like one of the biggest, and guys, that yeah. that makes it even worse, right? They need to like, like really. I think it's the company culture, bro. Like, you know, at like yeah. some of the value, like some of the team like culture is lacking, like prioritization. You know, like dude. the engine team <laughs> is like the literal the breathe the heart you know it's literally the heart of this game like literally you can't make certain updates because the engine is not capable of it you literally yep. need these people to like actually fucking you know i mean make it work like dude but i, I can tell it. you right now like if either yeah. of you are going to runefest or anyone listening is going to runefest like if you talk to an old school runescape j mod and like ask about a specific update and like you get onto the topic of like the engine and like being able to have time for the old school team to have the engine development and stuff like they're gonna be just as frustrated and like yeah. annoyed as what we are, you know. But at the end of the day, it's like 
it's a business. Jagex is a business. Yeah. Where do they make mm-hmm. most of their money? They make most of their money through RuneScape Free, which is a lot more graphically advanced game, and it probably requires a lot more engine work for that game to be able to actually progress and be what it is. So yeah, if there's anybody to blame here, I'd say it's like the higher ups in the company. Oh, no, for sure, yeah. Which no. is the same, oh, basically. Yeah. We don't know who companies. they are, though. We have no idea. Like, who it, they are. it basically just comes down to money, you know. It's mm-hmm. like what's going to make us more profit putting a really good update into old school RuneScape that I'd be really happy with, or we could do this on RuneScape 3, which is going to actually up our fucking, like, profits this month by such and such percent. Yeah, you know? well, I think old school is making a decent amount of money, but uh, it's like the engine team's just too small, you know? And, like, the yeah. account security team is incompetent, I'm not even going to lie. And, like, I don't know, you know who's, even, <laughs> who's even dealing with third-party clients, you know? Do you know what? I just, I just had this thought, man. Like, yeah. I think the only way that, like, everybody's going to be happy with, like, their version of old-school RuneScape is if they make it into, like, Gary's mod. Or, like, you know, where uh, you can effectively just different. join a server yeah. and, like, have a customized server. It's like if you're in a PvP, you join the PvP server and it's, like, everything. Curry. It's uh-huh. paradise. And if you want to join uh-huh. the skilling server, you join the skilling one. But it's just like, that's the only way people are ever going to be happy. But it's going to completely disconnect the community. Although yeah. saying that, I saw uh, Mod Matt K, who's never, he's not a mod anymore, but, you know, prior Mod Matt K. He posted the other day, I thought it was quite interesting. It was basically his thoughts on PvP. And um, I, I think it was Mod Matt K. And he basically said something that he thought would be really beneficial, like, towards the community. Because it was all to do with the PvP polls failing and, you know... A lot of the people that don't do PvP vote no for PvP polls, etc. Yeah. And he basically just said, like, if there was, like, an informative piece of information out there, whether it be a video or a post or, you know, something engaging, which basically, and I've always thought this and said this, yeah, you which said basically it. shows, you know, the whole the game as a whole and how everything affects everything. You know, how PvP affects skilling, prices, the grand exchange, etc. And just like information like that, like for example, how many sharks are used in the wilderness on a day and how many are fished and stuff like that. Like I don't know if that would have a huge impact on whether people would vote yes or no, but it couldn't hurt, you know? Yeah. And it'd be quite interesting to look at. Like I'd be interested to look at that kind of information. Well, yeah, I mean I think that's ultimately another big issue and you know that's what like how voting works and shit. But yeah, I think we've got we've gone like you know so much shit on our plate already. Like my point is, like back to what I was saying is like, you know, people gotta remember the people that work on the update team. Their their goal is you know create updates or fix original updates, right? So so I would say they gotta you know take care of the quality stuff and fix that. But but you can't blame the J mods that you know like Mod Ash for like not upgrading account security not dealing with their they take a lot of shit on twitter for that too yeah because like a lot of people don't understand it's not their fault they don't have any it's not their job whatsoever (laughs) but like and i and and i made it clear who who the teams are that are responsible for those things we don't we don't know them as personally right we don't really know engine people that person we don't know people that work on account security that person but like they are and yeah, I guess you can't really blame them either because like it's the higher ups that get to decide like who gets hired for this shit Like, you know, HR decides like who gets hired like, in that team or whatever But like dude, I'm just saying the problem lies in them in that section. They need to fix it Dude, it literally comes down to ignorance in my opinion yeah. So it's, it's almost like imagine the new company that buys Jagex They go to Jagex for the very first time They walk in and they're unhappy because they think the place is dirty and the first <laughs> yeah. person they see is Mod Ash and they go up to Mod Ash and say why is this place dirty? Why haven't you fucking cleaned the corners? Yeah, no, he's not the janitor, job. bro. What do they do? <laughs> it just comes down to people being ignorant as fuck. People don't yeah. know, you know? I don't, I'm not I mean, pretending that issue. I know either, yeah, but it's yeah. not difficult to look at this and be like, people are just like pointing fingers in the wrong direction. Yeah, no, like, they, it's not yeah. their fault. And, and it sucks because you know why? We don't know exactly who to point the fingers to. We don't know the, the executives, you know, the people that, the HR people that, that are ultimately pulling the strings yeah yeah we don't know the people pulling the strings and it sucks because everyone is like kind of forced to talk to people that they can see you know they're all behind like fucking shot like they don't have accountability those people don't have accountability and that pisses me off because those guys are ultimately what is going to pull this game down in the long run like if once third party client becomes too rampant once account security like we literally don't have an authenticator delay, homie. We could have, we should have had this for years. Yeah, but that, like yeah, the people pulling really... the strings behind this stuff thinks that it's okay that we shouldn't do it because they said they need to investigate whether or not a 
authenticated delay is worth it. I'm like, bro, there's no investigation needed. Put that shit on there. Like, yep. seriously. Right. I, I've yeah. got a, a question for yeah. both of you. Yeah. And also for the, uh, the people viewing the podcast at this point. If you could implement one change to the game right now that would go live literally within 60 seconds, what would it be? Me, I would say definitely out, out of authenticated delay, bro, for sure. Yeah, I'd I'm say just, the same thing. I'm tired of seeing people getting hacked, bro. Like literally every month, a few of my friends get hacked, and yep. it's and usually then people quit the game too. They're just yeah, going. they quit the game because of that shit. It's so AIDS, bro. Okay, it's so AIDS. It'd be interesting. I, I think that's interesting, man. And like, I hope that people that are listening to the podcast right now can leave us some like what their thoughts are. I mean, are I could list. A, I can, honestly, I could list a few things uh, on top of that. Like, first one is. Well, you know, you know me. I, I'm a big controversial guy. I guess I talk a lot about, I criticize a lot of shit. But like honestly, you talk, you talk a lot of shit. Man. I do, I do, <laughs> I do. But like you know, I I'm I I want to help this game though. You know what I mean? Stuff like polling, yeah, no, I, I, okay. that stuff is you know that that stuff needs a massive revamp. I'm glad that they finally hit the poll results, but I think that's just you know it's good. It helps a lot. It makes the polling better. But I don't think it's enough because obviously there are clear biases between yep. like the PVP stuff. You know. Like, it just gets in the way. I feel like ultimately we need to let Jagex do a lot of the deciding on their own. And, like, the the poll needs to be converted into, like, a feedback system more than anything. So that way, Jagex ultimately makes that decision of whether or not something passes, right? I feel like they need to, like you said, give give some of the power back to Jagex because yeah. they have to. They need it. It's it's actually their responsibility, not the, like, random level 50 character yeah. person voting right like that stuff it should not be in their hands and yeah. also uh well not in our hands either we don't you know what i mean because then our we won't, won't actually vote for it none of us would right yeah. we just give them our own opinions right through the system yeah and another I one would be agree. another one would be obviously third party clients dude like it's gone so bad to the point that some of the more prevalent crazy clients like are oh starting God, to actually dude, get popular crazy. like they need to actually do something about that because everyone's gonna fucking get their infernal capes without even trying some of these yeah dude some of these yeah. plugins like yeah. the, oh my god when i saw the fucking guitar hero one yeah oh it's, yeah it's <laughs> word, really yeah there's here's a lot of an stuff interesting yeah here's an interesting question so like mm -hmm. they've been quite active and i think they've been on top of their shit although some of it's been a bit delayed on um removing infernal capes from accounts which obviously the actual owner of the account didn't get themselves so do you think that they'll be able to as like that track people that are using the third party clients and using the guitar hero you know easy scape do you think they'll be able to track that as easily um, as they can yeah i, I think I they're don't know no, okay it. so i'm not an expert right but I, I remember talking to a few people that are kind of experienced with like how the coding and stuff of client of those clients work so what he said was you could um, for example, you know how like WoW has a has their client, right? And like you can modify the client, and then you can like, well, like the way they work is like they cr the they have people that can create the client. I mean, uh, features, right? And then like there's ultimately one client, but they get to decide what gets in, and <laughs> what doesn't get in, right? Like there's like a team that decides what these freelancer, like you know, coders can, you know, like if they put something and they and they see if it's good or not. If it's not good, they don't add it into the official client. I think ultimately that would be perfect. That, for old that's what needs to happen because, like, it's like Rune Light. You know how Rune Light, there is a, a, a board, right? And then there's all these people that are freelancing and just creating features, yeah. right? And then they have to submit to that team. And if the team says it's no good, then they don't, you know, it's rejected. And if, if it's good, then it gets into the main client, right? I think that's what ultimately needs to happen is that they create a universal client that's official for the game. And then they have people that can, like, yeah, create I these agree. features and then like you know uh if it's good it comes that would make in, it that take um like i know an argument for everything yeah. is too like jack they want jagex spending more time on game updates and not like updating their client because there's already like room like you can use so like that would be perfect for that yeah exactly because then you can have these people do it f but for the official client right and yeah. also what that means is they can i guess recognize this as the official client and then anything else that's not the official client they will automatically stop you from logging in or something like that right because then they can just create a system like that a fail it's like a fail safe if it's not the official client and you're playing on some other client they won't let you anymore with that right with, that would pretty much solve it because then it will stop yeah. all those clients from logging in period unless they somehow get the code for the official client 
which I hope they don't, right? Because like they would, I mean, it would have to be like a new infrastructure for the client for the most part, right? It would have to be a major revamp. But I think it needs to be done, or else cheating is going to be rampant in a year or two, and I don't think they're going to be able to stop it. Like I think that's the only way that they can make it happen. Dude, you have to do. I, yeah, I I think that on on like the topic of uh, third party clients and stuff like that, like if it really got to the point where it was like you know everybody had access to clients where it was just clearly like cheating such as the guitar hero infernal capes on six mm. jads yeah like i'm pretty confident in thinking that at that point jagex would put their foot down and just be like okay we're i mean they're gonna have to soon because uh, you know remember the people we talked about on the other client they're they're already developing crazy shit and and it's starting to pick some traffic like every week i get asked if x client is safe to use I'm like, and it sucks because I can't be like, you know, it's yeah. not like fully legal, but I, you should cheat. You know, like, it's like, I can't even, it's so hard. Like, I can't answer that, right? It's like, what yeah. the fuck? But like, it's, it, but like, dude, they're creating crazy shit. They have infernal helpers, bro. It's like yeah, insane. Dude. I sent that shit, yeah. you know, one of the mods and hopefully. You could, you, know, you could compare these third party clients to like, like steroids and jet gym users mm, and be yeah, like, it's like, there's the right way to go about it. And then there's yeah. the shortcuts. And the yeah, shortcuts no, it's, can it, basically... it's, it's getting bad, Rexy. It's getting bad, dude. Like it's, dude. Par it's probably been bad, but like obviously a lot of the normal players didn't know about it. But now it's like bad because people yeah. actually know about it. You know what I'm saying? Dude, yeah. I man, I'm not gonna lie, man. I've had yeah. a fucking week of third party clients, right? I'll tell you something. Yeah. My next video that comes out, I shit talk OS buddy so fucking much. Oh my god, right? I'll tell you uh, this. Do you know do you know I said I was doing Armadillo this week? I did a fuckload of Armadillo this week and it was frustrating as fuck, especially getting two kills with five brews, right? <laughs> so it was a Thursday. I think it was three or four hours after the game update had happened. And I, I try to load up OS Buddy three four hours after this is a paid third party client that i don't pay for but somebody that i fucking leech off of pays for they hadn't refreshed their fucking client which people pay to use right so i was forced to use room light okay use room light don't have any of my plugins i'm a fucking casual i die with like 500 black chins gg <laughs> 1.5 mil absolutely fuming so i log out i'm like fuck it i'm not playing until his buddy comes online an hour later us buddy's on Go into the armadillo room, right click a minion, and the client crashes. Oh my and I God. lose another 500 black chins. <laughs> Mate, I literally rage so hard. I talk so much shit on OS, buddy. Fuck that client. Fuck all the clients. <laughs> literally, fuck them all. It's a oh, joke, man. man. <laughs> I was so angry, dude. I was. I was oh so fu God. I think I like smashed my fucking desk and my hand was hurt for like <laughs> two days. I was so pissed. Don't yeah. use third party clients, man. They suck. Uh, I all mean, them. you know, I, I think. I think uh, ultimately, I think Runelight Mono is what Jagex needs to do for themselves. I think ultimately that's what needs to happen. Yeah. I can't wait for Rune Fence. But Honestly, yeah, there's a yeah, there, there's but... quite a few glaring issues that I really wish they can solve. And and you know, you just can't blame the update boys. You can't blame Bon Ash for this stuff. It's not their fault. I, I don't know if you guys saw Ash's tweet. Yeah. I can't remember when he posted it. It was in the last week or so. But yeah. he said, um, uh, like, over like the course of old school. Like, I've never been more happy about the direction of the game as of, like, now is the happiest I've been with the direction of the game. He said that on Twitter, so. Well, Hopefully I think the game itself, fast, yeah, like... I think the game itself is good, but, you know, there's just a lot of external shit that is really pervasive, was it, was, you know? When he, being... when he said the direction of the game, he made him, I'm like, um, I have to find a, tw I have to find a tweet. Well, like, what type of direction, you know, like, marketing yeah, he or something? Well, like, I don't marketing? think I can find it. Yeah. I mean, I would say the game updates have been mostly positive, you know, a few glaring issues here and there, but it was whatever. It can't be perfect, so, you know, realistically yeah. speaking, but <clears throat> yeah, man, it's all... It's... Dude, these... Mate, I love these podcasts, man. It's just like yeah. an hour of us just ranting about shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there hasn't been a whole lot to talk about, you know? Like, I mean, RuneFest is coming up. We can talk about that real quick before, you know, like we wrap up or something. Yeah. But... Are either of you going to RuneFest in... I uh, have weeks? to go to TwitchCon, so... I'll go next year probably. I'll try. I'll try, man. What about you, Devious? I just have the money. Oh man. Yeah. Should have got a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship. We could have done it for True. this fucking podcast, man. Hey, I <laughs> used the sponsorship on Twitch Con, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh god. No, I'm I'm gonna be going. I'm really excited, man. Yeah, I, hope I mean I'm you live there, bro. I would go every year if I if I lived yeah. in the UK. 
No, I'm really, sure. I'm really excited for it, man. I genuinely can't wait. It's like, uh, I don't know. Like, obviously, you guys are out in America. I know that, obviously, Re and Mint, you both go to TwitchCon together. So you, you have Mint's that, scary. which is really nice. But, like, going to RuneFest and just, like, seeing all, like, the content creators and stuff and, like, meeting people, it's awesome. Like, it is, it's a really, really good time. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, man. I wish I could go, but they're just so expensive and they're close to each other. Yeah. And I mean, you've already been before as well. Yeah, anyways, is, like, yeah. what do you guys think they're going to announce? My guess, I'm hoping Race 3 and maybe a new uh, group mode, but uh, that one, not so much. Maybe like I a new, they, uh, maybe a new guild. System. Clan system? Yeah. yeah it's I know they've been are. talking about working on that for a long time, and yeah, I know, true. like they said, there's a lot of engine work required, so if they announce clan system, that means they've done a lot of work on their engine, which is probably good for a lot of other stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I hope so, because that, that will... That will Give me good hopes that they're finally revamping their engine team and they're actually like yep. taking care of those guys, you know? I hope that also. they announce something PvP related that looks quite potent, like has Yo, some potential. Elo system, bro. If they, if they actually yeah. announce something like that, that'd be insane. I'm not even a PK. I, I, I would actually be excited. I'm not either. Before. And it sounds so exciting, dude. If that yeah. is true, right? I hope so. But yeah. Definitely. It's like, it's like one of those things, man. Like, I don't do skilling. But if a good skilling update comes out, I'm not going to vote no to it. It's like, I'm a bit hippie, man. I'm just like, you know, I want everybody to be happy. PvPers, PVMers, yeah. skillers, filthy Iron Man, all of that stuff. You guys, <laughs> as long as you're happy, you know, <laughs> happy days. Yeah. But yeah, I agree. I I don't really know. I don't really know. It's, it's difficult. Like, to be honest, they've announced like PvP stuff in the past. You see it all on Twitter. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. So, yeah, you know, not a whole lot. I mean, we'll, LMS we'll got some stuff, you know, finally, right? Well, dude, LMS, man, they did they did a really good job of LMS. They made the game fun. They made it engaging, fast-paced, like genuinely a fun mini game, and then they fucked up the rewards. And for whatever yeah, reason, like, the rewards are always the hardest, bro. The rewards yeah. are always the hardest. Like, I don't know, yeah. they dropped the ball big time with the rewards with LMS. I mean, I haven't even been tempted to go play it. Like, and I was really hyped for it, man. I was talking about it on this podcast for weeks, and I've not even gotten to play it because I'm just like, what'd you get? A fucking Halo? Great. Yeah, True. a lot of stuff didn't pass, but hopefully they'll they'll come back with it again because, um, you know, it's going to need some rewards. Yeah, for sure. they need to revamp it for sure. Right. Anyways, I said we wrap up the podcast. I'm guessing it's been yeah. going for like an uh, hour. Wait, and Devious half. wanted to find, yeah, one uh, hour and a half. Did you want to find the tweet or are we just going to call it? Honestly, Ash tweets so much. There's no uh, yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo, yo, Devious, where can the people find you, my friends? Uh, at my scuffed channel link. <laughs> Some yeah. bunch of numbers and letters. Uh, yeah, my well, Twitter plus. is Devious OSRS, and my Twitch is Devious. I don't stream really though, so it's a point following that. Yeah, we'll put those three links in there. So, what are the plans, man? What's your, uh, you know, the year? Not plan? run out of ultimate, man. <laughs> Yeah. It's the goal right now. It's so hard, dude, when you've done the same grind three times. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing. Yeah, you set yourself some crazy uh, standards there. <laughs> so that's the yep. that's the plan this year. Max, well, maybe not max. Ma ultimate, I want to try to max ultimate next year. Next sure. year? Oh, boy. Damn, it's a long ass grind, though. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. Oh, dude, sure it was like a pleasure to have you on, man. Thank you very much yeah. for coming by. Yeah, we finally did it. I know. It yeah, only I took three believe, weeks. <laughs> I really can't believe we've never had you on before. I feel like you've been on because we've spoken about it so many times. Like, I was supposed to be the first one like two years ago. I remember that. I, just... <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, remember why I wasn't able to do it, but you know, I wasn't able to. And then you guys got me kind of thing. Hey, it's, yeah. it's all good, man. But we'd, we'd love to have you on in the future. So if you were to come on in the future... Is there anything like a subject specifically like you'd like to come on and discuss? Yeah, we're, I think we're gonna go for round twos, you know, with the boys. If, if group Iron Man comes out, then a hundred percent, I'd have so much stuff to talk about for that. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. We're better that in mind, man. But yeah, it's All been right. a pleasure, mate. Thank you very much for coming yeah, on. Yeah, make sure to like the video, boys. If you like, if you like the video, please. If you watch it all the way to the end, you have to, bro. There's like no reason not to. Yeah, you might as well. It takes it. an extra second. <laughs> all right, bye bye.